Welcome to Tech Brothers with Damir. In this video, we are going to answer this question. What is shared data source in SSRS? First of all, we need to know what is data source. A data source is a set of data source connection properties. So first, let's go ahead and take a look on those properties and then we will discuss shared data source. So here I have in the SSDT created a uh, reporting uh, project uh, and uh, one of the tab you see here in the project uh, called shared data source uh, right click here and add new data source uh, you see here we, these are the properties uh, so we have name here we have type here and we have to create a connection string uh, to some of the uh, our server maybe SQL server Oracle XML so different type of uh, uh, connections uh, string can be used maybe we have uh, provided uh, uh, we have data on the SharePoint list uh, and we have to provide that uh, connection string uh, now let's go ahead and take a look on these properties call let's call this one a uh, sales so I have a database uh, in one of the server and it is called uh, sales so I'm going to make a connection to this one by using this uh, data source so I call it sales mm, let's say we have already I have a sales here so I'm gonna call this one DS sales next uh, you are selecting the type uh, and you see different types are available uh, so my uh, server is SQL server so I'm using Microsoft SQL server if your data is on Microsoft SQL Azure you will be using this one so it depend on Oracle and wherever your data is uh, so you will be using uh, that one and next uh, you will be building a, a connection string or providing it directly and here I have those uh, servers I can go back here and select uh, the server name execute and copy from here so you see we are providing all the properties uh, to this uh, data source uh, and here we will select uh, the database sales and test connection hit ok and now pretty much uh, our data source is ready so that's uh, connecting to the our server and we have to provide the credentials here I'm using uh, use Windows authentication so that's uh, it is going to use my credentials you can use a uh, username and password if you have it uh, and the different credentials or prompt for credentials so when person will connect it will ask hey provide me your username and password so these all the properties get together and make a data source so it is set of uh, uh, properties for data source now hit OK and uh, that's it now once I create the report uh, I can use uh, these uh, data sources uh, so think about uh, I'm creating a new report uh, so if I create a new report uh, right here and I can use uh, these data sources right now these both data sources are shared uh, data sources uh, so shared data sources are data source that can be used in multiple reports uh, so once you click on data source add data source and here for you can provide a name ds sales this is for just the internal name for data source that tells us which data source it is pointing it can be embedded so it will be only available to that report or you can use the shared data source so we have two da shared data sources we can use any of them let's say i use a ds sales here now i can create my report from here and use this data source for my data sets so what we see here I have created a lot of reports now all of those reports are using a shared data source called sales so let's go ahead and if I will deploy all these reports we want to see the benefit of using this shared data source as all of the reports are using this shared data source what happened when we deploy to the report server we will be making changes only to one uh, shared data source and all those reports will be pointing to the new server or new database wherever we want to point to if I will use uh, the embedded data sources I have to go to each of the report and change so that could be big change let's say you have 100 reports and you have deployed to the report server and each of them is using embedded data source so you will be going to 100 of them and change in uh, the data source for each of that but if you have used a shared data source and once you uh, have used in the, all the 100 reports you deploy to the server you will be making changes only to one shared data source and each report will be able to read from the 
connection string or whatever the server or name you will provide over the database um, so that's great because that really helps so think about scenario if you are creating reports from five different databases so it is a good idea to create five different shared data sources and each will be pointing to different database so once you deploy those reports you will be always making changes to only five data sources in QA in UAT and in production and once they are done you will not be going back every time and making changes as long as your server name and the database name stays the same so let's go ahead and deploy these reports and see uh, we have a, a report deploy test that's uh, let's call this one a reports report uh, reports to and this is a server so I'm gonna hit OK and then hit uh, here and say deploy and uh, let's go to the reports over here and the refresh I want to show you what exactly I'm talking about because that really helps uh, to explain the things it's gonna take a little time because we have a lot of reports to deploy it's working right now as you can see the green progress bar, bar here so it's pretty much working hard and deploying all those reports soon we will see the messages here so you see all the reports are being deployed and uh, some of them are in the process of deploying let's go to the report server and you see the folder here so now let's refresh it all the reports are coming just fine here and if uh, I will go to the any report uh, you will see if I will go to manage and here if I will go to data source it is using a shared data source and we have that data source already on the server and uh, let me go to the data sources here and we have sales and we have DS sales so if uh, I'm, I'm gonna go to the sales and I felt that sales is not the correct database in, uh, name anymore and I have a new database name let's say regional sale so I'm gonna copy the regional sale also I can change the server name if I would like but in this case I have only one let's uh, let me paste it here now you see if I want to point all of my reports uh, to the regional uh, sale database uh, even on the same server or different server uh, doesn't really matter I just need to change here and uh, apply and hit ok that's it now all of these reports uh, are using uh, this new database on this server if I would like to go back I can go back to the here in the data sources again and just make make the change to the sales data source here so I will just change to sale back you see here if I will have each report embedded data source then I would be making a change to each of the report that could be really hard when you have hundreds of report so let me show you that part but here let's say if you will be something like this um, all of the reports has a shared data source actually so let me go to manage and think about that if the data source will be something like this so if it is embedded it will be shown here and then you have to change the connection or you come back here and start using the shared one so that's the problem with embedded I recommend using shared data sources and I hope this video will help you to explain all the points in your interview and good luck I will see you guys in next interview video